Okay, so these are the types of problems where somebody's like throwing something in the, up in the air, and then you know you're trying to find the height at a given time, or you're trying to find out how long it takes for uh, the item to hit the ground, etc. So the formula we're going to be working with is h equals negative 16 t squared plus v times t plus s. So what all those variables represent? Well, the height h is the height, right? For at any given time t. So t is the time. Okay, oftentimes in seconds. Um, S is the initial height, okay, so that's this here, that's the starting height, and then V is the initial velocity, so like when it leaves your hand, let's say the item, or when you launch something, okay, like an arrow, and then uh, H is the height at, at any given time. So let's do an example problem, and we'll uh, understand this a little bit better. So a person throws a ball upwards with an initial velocity of 12 feet per second from a 40-foot high building. How long does it take for the item to hit the ground, right? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our vertical motion model uh, equation here. And what we have is we have h equals negative 16t squared plus v, which is the initial velocity, that's 12 feet per second, so 12t plus the initial height, which is 40. Okay, so now we have our equation. Now, if you can kind of visualize this, okay, here's the building. The ball is going to look like that, and we're trying to figure out where it hits the ground. If we want to draw this on an axis, it'll look something like this. Here's time, and here's the height. And basically what's happening is, as time is passing, right, the ball's going up, and it's coming back down, and we're looking for where the height is going to be zero. That's where it hits the ground. So let's go ahead and set h equal to zero. And what we can do is we can factor this, or we could use the quadratic formula, or we could complete the square, or we could graph it on our calculators. We have a lot of different options, but let's see if we can do it factoring this, this particular one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor, which is negative 4. So I get 4t squared minus 3t minus 10. Okay, And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to see if we can factor this further. So if we take the leading coefficient times the constant, that's negative 40. What two numbers multiply to negative 40, but at the same time those two numbers have to add to the middle coefficient, negative 3? So what would that be? It's going to be negative 8 and positive 5, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to split the middle term into negative 8t, positive 5t. We're going to bring down the negative 10, and we're going to bring down the 4t squared. Okay, so you're with me so far? So we just split the middle term, and now we're going to factor by grouping. So I'm grouping the first two, grouping the last two, factoring out the greatest common factor. So that's going to be 4t, okay? So that's going to leave us with t minus 2, and if we factor out the greatest common factor here, 5, that's going to be t minus 2. And you can see there's a t minus 2 in common in both those groups. We're going to factor out the t minus 2, and we're left with 4t plus 5, right? Okay, now we're interested in where the height is equal to 0, so we're going to set each of these factors equal to 0 and solve. So here you can see t is going to equal 2. Here t is going to equal negative 5 fourths. Well, time really can't be negative. That's like going back in time, right? But you can see that this is forming a parabola. We can see this is a t squared. So if we were to continue this like so, you can see that this point here, if you were to make a parabola, it would cross in the negative t range right here to the left of the uh, h axis. But we're interested going forward in time, after the person throws the ball, when does it hit the ground? So we're going to look at the positive one, and that's going to be two seconds. So this is how you work with the vertical motion uh, model problems. I uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my past videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon.